So today we'll be installing the Victron Energy Smart Battery Sensor uh, in my small cabin so that my charge controller doesn't charge my lithium batteries if it's below freezing. Yeah, so this is my solar setup at the small cabin and I'm running the small cabin on two uh, Chevy Volt cells and these are lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide chemistry. So they are out of a Chevy Volt, an early version of the Chevy Volt. And I think this is about uh, 3.6 kilowatt hours or something like that. So the charge controller is a Victron MPPT charge controller. It does have a temperature function. Unfortunately, there's no temperature sensor installed in it. So even if you set the temperature function within the charging profile, it simply ignores it and still charges the battery even if it's below the, the set temperature here. So a couple of bus bars here. So that's where I'm gonna hook up the, the battery temperature sensor and it comes with Bluetooth. And then I'm going to attach it to one of these batteries. I probably end up using double-sided tape uh, even though it's a it's an insulator against the battery, but I think that is probably the best solution. And then I can simply set the temperature instead of zero degrees Celsius, I probably just set it at two or three degrees Celsius, so slightly above freezing, just to compensate for the insulating effect that the temperature sensor has on the battery. And you can actually charge these batteries below freezing uh, as long as you don't go crazy. Uh, if, if you just charge them with a few amps, uh, you, there's actually quite a temperature range you can charge these below freezing. But anyway, I'm going to install this today, so let's have a look. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. A fairly small package here. And there's not much to it, really. Instructions. We don't need those box we don't need. Yeah, look at this thing. Tiny. And all you need is really just connect it to the battery, and, and that's the end of it, so... Uh, I already have a software for it and well, this is probably pro okay yeah this is where it is uh, the temperature sensor is internal unfortunately I wish it had an external temperature sensor to connect to the battery so we just have to I, I probably just use double-sided tape and tape it to the battery and hope for the best yeah, so I think there's plenty of wire on it. So I just go to the bus bars here, positive and negative, and I'm just gonna tape it to the back of this battery here. Let me show you what this looks like. Let me get you down a little bit more. So on the back of the battery, I have the BMS, and it actually I'm using double-sided tape for this as well. And I do have this crazy good double-sided tape. It's like a foam double-sided tape. And I leave links in the description for you as always. The same, same for the smart sensor here. And the, this double-sided tape is, re is really good. So it'll stick to it, it'll not fall off. So here we go. Just hook this guy up to positive and negative bus bar. We should be okay. These are coming from the batteries right here, so I'm not going to touch these. Uh, charge controller comes in through here. This is a charge controller, and this is my DC 16 volt DC output over here. That goes to my Andersons. Here, let me show you. Over here, it goes to my Andersons, and uh, there's a buck converter there for my ham radio to buck it down to 13.8 volts because, again, this, the whole system is a 16.4 16, 16 volt system. So I think I'm gonna loosen these guys up, get the ring terminals on it, and that should do it. It's gone. Ooh, fireworks. Oh, fireworks there. Uh, I'm gonna put this underneath the other connector. Well, I got a couple loads on it. 
Let's just see interior lights. Here we go. Lights coming back on. Split ring. Stainless steel nut. Okay, that's good. Let me route this behind. I'm going behind these wires into this positive terminal here. There we go. My cap's back on. And I already see the Bluetooth light blinking down here. Now let me show you what that looks like. Let me get you in here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> See if you can see, yeah, here we go. Bluetooth light is blinking. So let's see if it shows up in the app. I think the only thing we have to do is we have to rename it and then uh, we can program the charge controller to the right temperature here. So let's see what that looks like. Open your Victron Connect app on your smartphone or tablet and you'll see that the smart battery sensor is showing up with a pretty good signal. Go ahead, click on it and you will have to enter a password and the default is six zeros. After that is loaded, chances are you need to update the firmware. So go ahead, do that. It'll just take a few seconds to update the firmware and save it to the device. Here we go. Hit continue. And the device is now updated. Go ahead and open it again. And you will see 15.97 volts and the temperature is 2 degrees Celsius in my On case. the upper right hand side go into settings again and you see V Smart Networking, click on that. This enables the additional information on the device list, in this case battery voltage and temperature. Let's rename this device, upper right hand side the three dots, click on that and then product info. And the second option is the name, hit edit, select the default name. And type in you know whatever you want to call this thing hit ok and now you can see that the name is changed to whatever you typed in go back upper left hand side select ve smart networking again and now you can either join an existing network or you can create your own i would recommend recreating your own from scratch so name it whatever you want to call this particular network in my case it's cabin one hit ok it's creating the network and uh, you get the confirmation that the network is created. Go back out, upper left hand side, close this thing and go into your MPPT charge controller because now that charge controller needs to join the network. This is your charge controller and you can see there's no battery temperature showing right now on the battery, the second section. Upper right hand side, go into settings, V Smart Networking, it's your last option and now you want to join the existing network you just created in my case, I think it's called cabin one. Yep, cabin one, hit OK. And now your charge controller is joining the network that the temperature sensor has created. You get a confirmation. And now the temperature sensor through the network is telling the MPPT charge controller what the battery temperature is and voltage. So go back out. And now you can see in the second section that the battery temperature is showing on the MPPT charge controller. Now you can set the low temperature cutoff, go into settings, battery, and the last option is low temperature cutoff. Click on that. It's currently set at two degrees Celsius. And just use the up and down buttons to adjust, you know, whatever temperature you want the, the charging to be cut off. In my case, three degrees Celsius, I think is good. Hit okay. It updates it there for a second. And now my charge controller will not charge my batteries if the temperature readout is uh, three degrees Celsius or less. On the upper right hand side is an icon, it's called VE Smart Networking and it says this product is configured for VE Smart Networking and is currently receiving the following data from the network, battery voltage and battery temperature. Project complete, all done and I'll see you guys on the next one.